everybody and happy vlogmas week one <laughs> i am doing vlogmas so basically i'm just going to be combining days it's going to be vlogmas week so this is vlogmas week one so yay welcome this is also going to be a read your gaze reading vlog for three books that i'm reading out of it i am currently listening to orpheus girl by don't know the author and I'm a few chapters in out of 11. It's a four hour audiobook, so I might try and finish it tonight or tomorrow. As for physical reads, I have Heartstopper Volume 2 by Alice Oseman and then Bloom by Kevin Panetta. And those are both queer, obviously, hence the reader gaze. It's a holiday read along, and I only have three books this time around, but that's okay because I could probably read these two graphic novels tonight and be able to have read two books today and be happy about it. And I have off of work tomorrow because I have adult appointments that I have to go to and so that means I get to stay up tonight and read. It should be a good time because I just want to sit and read these books and tomorrow I get to film my wrap up for November so I'm super excited about that because I read some great books and I can't wait to talk about them. So I'm super excited because that'll be my Thursday video but you, this video will be up very late compared to that video. I don't really have anything in mind for Vlogmas. If you guys have any sort of suggestions you want to see for Vlogmas weeks and stuff like that just let me know down below in the comments. I am just gonna keep it as a weekly reading vlog but just vlogmas it because it's in the middle of the December. I will try and do some Christmassy themed things like when we put up our Christmas tree and decorate our house I will obviously film that. I don't really have anything Christmassy themed or planned or anything for reading vlogs just because I am working full time so I don't really have the time to do that so I apologize but if there's any like Christmas books that you want me to read or anything like that let me know down below and I will look into getting them. I bought myself a Fire 7 Kindle for an early Christmas present. <laughs> I spent like 30 bucks on this the other night and I got it today. So now I can read like NetGalley arcs and stuff like that so I'm super excited. You know all the NetGalley arcs that I've been avoiding for like six months. So I'm super excited for that. I can't wait to start reading more ebooks and stuff like that. So cool. That's all I have to really talk to you guys about. I'm probably going to go and start reading some of those graphic novels that I showed you and maybe listen to some more of my audiobook. The audiobook so far has been pretty good. It's really diving in deep and it's a very, very deep book. So it's just insane. But I will give you more of my thoughts and rundown on the book once I get farther into it. But for now, I'm just going to go chill and read. just finished Orpheus Girl about a half hour ago. I gave it like a 3.5. It just wasn't what I, I mean, I don't know what to say really. I liked it in the beginning. It was really good. And then I kind of started losing it when I started to play Sims. So I kind of like wasn't really paying attention, but I did like it. It also really much reminded me of the miseducation of Karen Post very much besides the fact that they did a lot more of like concentration camp kind of things in the book. It was definitely a really hard hitting book and I did like that aspect to it. It's just towards the end, I don't remember what happened besides the fact that I think they got out. <laughs> I really have no clue and I probably just spoiled it, I'm sorry. But anyway, yeah, I gave it a 3.5. Wasn't the best book to start off this reading month with. <laughs> but anyway, now I can either pick Bloom to read or Heartstopper Volume 2. And if I read Heartstopper Volume 2, I think I want to read Heartstopper 1 again, just so I can kind of like get my mind wrapped around the whole story again because it's been a while and just so I can say I read three books in a day <laughs> because I'm trash but I don't know I'm so excited to read this though because I've been like dying to read it it is also pretty late right now and again I don't have work tomorrow but I still kind of want to stay up and read a little bit even though I'm kind of tired but yeah I really don't know what I'm gonna do but I kind of want to try and read this I don't think I need to read the first volume again honestly so I think I might just skip that and just go right into volume two so I think I'm going to start this right now and I'll let you guys know how I feel about it later. It's a half hour later, 
and I just finished Heart Temple Volume 2 and I cried. <laughs> I didn't like full blown cry, but I started tearing up and like I felt myself get really emotional towards the end because it just hit so close to home with me figuring out my sexuality and all that kind of stuff. And it's just like, I felt like I was Nick for a second. It's just so crazy how wrapped up I got into this volume and how wrapped up I got into this entire graphic novel series and how much I love this graphic novel series. I think this is probably like my favorite graphic novel series I've ever read and there's only two volumes out right now. I just love it so much and like it's just such an important series that I feel like everybody needs to read especially if you're like struggling with your own sexuality. It's just it's amazing. It's just such a good like self-help book in a way too. Like it's just such a good like own voices and just ugh, I love it so much. I really cannot stress how much I love their relationship and I love the fact that Charlie reminds me of um Timothy Chalamet <laughs> so it makes it even better. <laughs> But this is just so freaking cute. I love this so much. I give it a 5 out of 5 stars. Like, I'm always gonna do that because I, I just can't wait for this the third volume. I'm so ready for it. Hey guys, happy Tuesday and welcome to Vlogmas Day 3. This next clip that I'm doing right now is basically just gonna be me talking about an item that I am collabing with with a company called Ben Q. And I think this fits in perfectly with this vlog because this could be considered a gift for somebody in your family that likes reading or even for yourself, you know, splurge and spoil yourself. So the company reached out to me and they asked if I would want to collab. They would send me an item for an exchange of a review in my vlog or any video. So this is it because I just got the item because I kept getting this thing from FedEx and they were like, you need to go pick up your package. And I'm like, why can't you ship it to my house? So apparently they tried three times and I just now went down today and picked it up. And then when I saw it, I was like, Oh my god, I forgot I did this. Basically, I have yet to try this out, so you'll be seeing my first impressions on all of this and me putting it together and whatnot. But I'm excited because this seems pretty cool. It is a reading lamp. <laughs> so as you guys know, I have my trusty reading lamp back here. But this one is one that sits on your desk and it's massive. So it's 90 centimeters wide, it's an intelligent, and it's a tailor-made. And it's just like, has like a little hook right here and it goes down and just sits on your desk like a little reading lamp. Like... The ones that look really expensive, like on Lifetime movies, yeah, that's what this is. Basically, so the retail price is $189, but I'm going to be showing you guys it for today so you guys can see like a true honest opinion on like if this is worth getting for a Christmas present or for yourself, splurge, and treat yourself, you know? So let's jump into like unpackaging this because this thing is huge and it's very heavy, so I'm kind of scared. Oh, I need scissors. Maybe not. Also, this is not sponsored. I'm not making any money off this. This is just an item that I was sent in exchange for a review. So that's really it. I'm not making anything off this. I just wanted to see what this was like and to give you guys my two honest opinions. So I'm just putting that out there now. Whew. Okay. Big boy. This is what it looks like. I think it's already put together. So this is what it looks like, and there's actually directions, thank god, and it looks like they're somewhat in English. So it's an e-reading lamp, Genie e-reading lamp, the quick start. So basically it looks like, this is like the body of it, and I just put it in this thing, and it looks like I just screw it on. So let's figure that out. This is so cool. It's so like bendy. Oh, mate, I'm gonna have to replace my lamp with this. <laughs> Thumbs up for me. So if you guys are interested in this, I will definitely leave a link to their Amazon page and their website so you guys can purchase this lamp if you're interested. And again, I don't make anything off of this, but it's just if you guys wanna spoil yourself and I don't know, have a holiday gift because this is pretty freaking cool. Hey guys, so it, did I, ta I talk to you guys later, earlier? I just got home, I've been out shopping, thrifting stuff for our Pollyanna at school, 
at, you know, work. And I'm about to film my November wrap up and I'm super excited because I had a great reading month. I read 12 books, it's insane. But that'll be out this Thursday before this reading vlog goes up, obviously. But I just wanted to hop on here and show you guys some things that I got while I was out. Also, when I went thrifting, I got this shelf because I want to use it for my books, maybe. I can hang it on my wall. My dad said it was ugly, but I thought it was cute. It was only $3, but it looks like this. I thought maybe, I, it looks like a sleigh. I thought maybe I could try and fit like some books here, maybe just my mangas, because I did want a specific place for my mangas, so I might just hang this up over my desk here. And then up here, I could just put like a candle or whatever and just call it done. And I think this is so cute. And it's just adorable. I think it's, it'd fit perfectly. And I think it would fit my manga books really well. So it will show me setting that up and putting my books in there if that works out in the next couple clips. So, and then I also got a bunch of clothes, but I specifically got this basket, ignore the clothes, but I got this bas the basket specifically to put all my books in, for like the books that I read for the end of the month. So I would have put all those books that I read, like physical books that I read during the month and put them all in there and put them in the corner of my room. So I know that I read those books for this month because I'm struggling to find places for books that I already finished that I'm DNFing and getting rid of or like new books that I bought like I have a pile of new books sitting right across from me on my end table and I wanted like a spot that I could put like books that I already read for this month and I figured I could use that basket and I hope it turns out good because I hope it fits my books. I will let you guys know how all that all goes. I'm super excited and I'm gonna go film my November wrap up so I will talk to you guys later. happy wednesday so i'm currently making cookies because i felt like making vegan cookies and that's what i'm doing reading update i haven't read anything i didn't start a new audiobook today even though i was going to i just wasn't really in the mood this morning i was kind of feeling under the weather this morning but i'm feeling a little better now just really tired we're back to work today it was a good day i also withdrew from my math class so that's awesome after stressing for six weeks even though i only had a week left of my class i was at an f already i was failing completely and there was no way i was gonna be able to save that especially with two tests that I'd have to take this Saturday so I was like you know what I'm just gonna yeet out of this class so that's what I did now I'm making my cookies like I said and then I'm gonna go upstairs and start editing my wrap-up for November I was supposed to edit it last night but I didn't feel like doing it so I'm gonna edit it tonight get it uploaded for tomorrow's upload and then I'll probably just chill and read for the rest of the night I'm in the middle of reading Bloom by Kevin Panetta and so far it's all right I don't really have any sort of feelings towards it like it's cute and yeah, that's all I really have to say, so I will talk to you guys when I have more of a reading update. <laughs> Ew, I don't need my face. Hi guys, happy Thursday. So, I'm doing a face mask right now because my skin has been like crying for help because the weather has been so cold. I think it's on backwards, but I don't know how to do face masks. I'm trying not to do my mouth too much too, so I really am sorry. This is a bad update. So I haven't really been reading. <laughs> it's big soccer. I read 12 books last month so i feel like this month's not gonna be as great but this shouldn't be true because i have a lot of books that i want to read and i have like a full month off almost well i only have two weeks off of work i don't know what i'm trying to say in like two to three weeks and i don't have school anymore so i've kind of just been like watching booktube so right now i'm watching uh books and laws uh five star book prediction for 2020 and that made me set up my own list for my five star book predictions in 2020 and i am really excited for my list because there's a lot of the authors that i have given uh five stars to for their books so i'm super excited for that that video should be up within the next couple of weeks hopefully or maybe even this weekend so i am still in the middle of reading bloom by kevin panetta i haven't picked it up just because i haven't been like really focused on it just because i really didn't feel like reading it i don't know if i'm gonna pick it back up i probably pick it up this weekend i've just been really tired during the week because my schedule's been so off because i've been going to bed so late 
because that's what I was doing on Thanksgiving break. So now I'm just kind of out of my schedule. But anyway, I'm probably just going to chill the rest of the night. I don't know if I'll be reading anything. But if I do, I'll update you guys. I haven't started an audiobook, but I think tomorrow I'm going to start a Christina Lauren audiobook. Uh, it's called, I forget what it's called. I'll talk to you guys later or tomorrow. Tomorrow's finally Friday. And I'll do some reading this weekend, so I'm super excited about that. Okay, so hi guys. It's like 9.50. I'm exhausted, but I'm going to try and read a little bit. I didn't pick up Bloom, but I was going through my neck alley arcs, and I have not touched them in like months. I requested so many books that I got so overwhelmed that I didn't have any time to read any of them. And so that's the whole reason why I wanted to get like a Kindle. Well, my my say of a Kindle, even though it's like an Amazon Fire 7, something like that. I really wanted a Kindle so I could read like my arcs on there and I finally got one and so now I'm able to like read all my arcs that I have and I kind of want to start Red, White, and Royal, Royal Blue by Casey McQuiston because it was such a popular book this year and I have it on like my Amazon wish list, and I haven't gotten to read it yet but I have an arc of it before <laughs> anybody else was able to get it which I was really surprised about like looking back at like all the books that I like requested how a lot of them turned out to be very popular I was like whoa I actually had a chance to read that but I didn't read it. <laughs> so I have Red, White, and Royal Blue, Blue. Before We Were we, Wow, I can't fucking speak. I'm trying to read you the list of my books. Before We Were R Wicked, Promise Me, Summer of 69, The Silence Between Us, The Perfect Date, which The Perfect Date is already on my Amazon wish list because I wanted to read it. Um, I Spy the Boy Next Door, New Ink on Life, and Again But Better by Christine Riccio. <laughs> like, I already had that. Like, okay. I'm an idiot. But a few of these I have actually heard about and a few of these I've never heard anyone talk about. These are only the ones that I actually liked out of the ones that I picked because I had a few that I got but I don't really care to read them now. Because my music, my music taste, my reading taste has changed since then. But I think I kind of want to start Red, White, and Royal Blue. It's like, so I can sit here and read, oh you can't even fucking see that but. Deagle. I can sit here and like read in the dark now. I can just like chill in bed and not have to worry about anything and... I think I might try and do that because I don't really feel like reading Bloom and I'm really tired so I just kind of want to sit and read on my new little like iPad thing so I'm gonna go do that. Also, my shelf fell. <laughs> so now it's sitting on my floor right there and I'm like really sad because I have to wait till like tomorrow or Saturday for my dad to screw holes in my wall and it, I literally went to go grab this off it and it fell and I was like, okay, that's great. So anyway, yeah, I'm gonna go read and I'll talk to you guys later. Hey guys, happy Friday. Oh, I actually have some reading updates because I have actually been reading. So I have a physical read, well two physical reads technically, and then one audiobook. So for my first physical read that I'm reading, it is Red, White, and Royal Blue. And I got to like chapter two last night and I really liked it. I'm reading it on my Kindle. I'm just going to call this my Kindle even though it's like an Amazon Fire 7 or whatever it's called. It's just easier to say Kindle, so we're doing that. Anyway, I'm about like 8% through. I didn't read any of it earlier today on break like I wanted to. They percent through it and there's like eight hours left for reading so that's a lot but I'm hoping to get a good chunk out of it tonight. I'm gonna try and stay up and try and do like a 24 hour readathon because I have nothing planned for tomorrow and I'm done work till Monday so super excited about that and then I started a new audiobook finally. I've been kind of avoiding starting audiobooks. I have not been in the mood to like really pick up an audiobook yet but I did today and I picked up my half, my favorite half night stand by Christina Lawrence, something like that. It's a book from 2018. I've never really heard anyone talking about it, but oh my god, is it really good. I really enjoy, am enjoying it. So it's about this girl, and she has like a group of four friends, a four guy friends to be exact, and they're all like in their 30s. So it's like kind of like an adult romance, I want to say. And they're all in their 30s, they're all like colleagues, and they all work as like professors because of like criminology and like science and all that kind of stuff. It's pretty cool because of how close they are, and I like. I'm not usually a friendship a friendship trope kind of person, but this it fits so well for, so I really like it. And basically, they're all here. I go again with saying basically, they all have to find dates for like this ball that's coming up that has to do with their work. I want to say, and they're not going together because one of the guys offered to go with Millie, who was our main character, one of my main characters. And they were like, okay, let's all set up a profile on the dating website and find ourselves a date. And so Millie is like writing their profiles for them because they all know each other very well and she knows them very well so she knows obviously everything about these guys and so she writes their profile for them and so they're having more luck than she is kind of thing 
And in the beginning of the book, a one night stand happens, but I'm not going to say with who or what or whatever because it ties into the whole main point of the book and what the book is basically about. And I just, it's so good. It's so witty and humorous and I really like it. It reminds me of the witty and humor in Red, White, and World Blue. It's just like funny stuff that just, it's just so like, easily written. And I have actually become a fan of Christina Lauren's writing. It's actually kind of funny kind of want to go pick up like all of her books now and I'm really enjoying my time like I'm really enjoying my time with all my reads I haven't picked up I have not picked up Bloom yet but I might try and read that tonight if I get tired of looking at my Kindle and if I get tired of listening to my audiobook because I'm trying to do like a 24 hour readathon I bought a coffee from Dunkin even though it's not going to do anything I also just ordered myself a vegan pizza from this uh, pizza place called Tornetta's. I don't know if anybody else has that, but I have a Tornetta's in my town. So I ordered a vegan pizza from there because they actually have that option. And usually when I order pizza, I get it from Papa John's and they don't have cheese there that's vegan. But this place does and I'm really freaking excited even though I gotta wait 45 minutes for it to be ready. But anyway, I'm probably going to listen to more of my audiobook because I really wanna listen to it. I haven't listened to it since this morning and on my way home from work. And then I'll probably get into reading more of my book later. I could probably finish my audiobook tonight if I wanted to. I have like five, four to five hours left of it, and it's like an eight hour audiobook. I really killed a lot this morning. I don't know how, but anyway, that's what I'm gonna go do, and I will talk to you guys later. Reading update I finished my favorite half night stand by Christina Lord. <laughs> Listen, I started this morning. I went to work for nine hours. I haven't listened to it at all since this morning on my way to work. And then I listened to it on my way back and just for like those past couple hours and I finished it. I finished it in one day. Like what? That doesn't happen. That never happens. But I gave it a five out of five stars. I loved it so much. Like I'm just surprised at how much I loved it. And I definitely think Christina Lawrence definitely one of my new favorite authors. Well, both of them because it's two authors which I found out a couple months ago, not even. So I had a great time. I definitely suggest you guys try it out if you ever read that book or if you're looking for something to get into Christina Lauren. That one's like a perfect book to start off with. My first book that I started off with with Christina Lauren was Autobiography and that was a bad start because it made me not like any of their writing at first because I didn't like that book at all. But I've read Beautiful Bastards since then. I loved their writing in that. And then I read this new one and I loved it. So I have all of Christina Lauren's books lined up on script ready for me to listen to the rest. <laughs> Am I probably gonna do that by the end of this year? <laughs> probably. <laughs> because now I'm like Christina Lauren trash. So that's what I have to update you guys on. Also, I have played Sims for about a couple hours now listening to it and was able to keep my entire attention on it. So that's also a good goal of mine. But because I am feeling okay, it's 10 o'clock at night and I'm getting kind of tired. And I'm probably making myself more tired by sitting in bed and reading books. But I'm going to try and finish Bloom just so I can get that out of the way so I can finish that. And then I'll go and read Red, White, Wet, Wow. I cannot speak at all. I'm so sorry. Red, White, and Royal Blue. I'm going to sit and read that as well. And try and step as much as I can to read that. And I'm really excited to read that. Yeah. So I'm going to go do that. And I will talk to you guys later. What's with all these cute fucking books? Like all these cute gay freaking graphic novels make me about to fucking cry. I don't like it. Cause like, I just finished Bloom and I'm about to like fucking cry. Like, I'm gonna fight these authors, bro, for making all these emotions pop out. Like, pop the fuck back in. <laughs>Happy Saturday. I don't think I talked to you guys yet today. It is currently 3.11 and I've done a lot today. I've played a lot of Sims. I listened to an audiobook and I ended up DNFing it. And the audiobook that I tried listening to was Loving You, Hating You by Christina Lauren because I'm on a Christina Lauren kick right now. But I really did not like it. So I DNFed it like 14 chapters in. So I'm kind of disappointed about that because I spent like a good part of my morning listening to it, just end up hating it. It's about these two people, they're kind of like set up when they go to the Halloween party of their friends. Lovers to like enemies kind of. So it's cause like they, they're both agents and then their branches like merge. And so they're both competing for like the same job basically. And so they end up like 
not dating. I don't know how to explain it. It's just the fact that it was so much talk about the work and literally one date, a little bit of a, of a hookup and that was it. And then like, that was it. Like I was just like bored. I literally like, my brain was like melting away. So I did not it and I'm really glad that I did. I should have started like the on honeymooners like I was supposed to, but whatever. I have some book mail and I know what two of these books are because I bought them off my Depop. I bought them on Depop and then there's an Amazon one. So I'm thinking maybe somebody gifted me something. So we'll find that out. I also put my shelf back up. My dad fixed it for me because it fell. But I'm going to I'm gonna have these books in my upcoming book haul because I have a stack of books that I have been recently accumulating. And I'm going to do like my last book haul of 2019 for the next couple of weeks because I actually just made like a deep, not Depop order, a book outlet order. <laughs> I was meant to just get one book and then I ended up checking out for seven books. So... I wanted it by free shipping, so I want. I was mainly going on there to get my favorite Half Night Stand by Christina Lauren because that's like my favorite book right now, and they said everyone was telling me it was on Book Outlet because I was dying for a physical copy of it, and so I ended up buying like six other six other books that were on my TBR. So yeah, all right, we're opening up this one package. Aww, they wrap it so cute, and there's a little like note in here. I'll leave both their drops down below. It says, "Hope you enjoy your item plus happy holidays." Oh, that's so cute. So wrapped up in cute little wrapping paper. Yeah, this one is. Okay, so I bought the Raven Boys by Maggie Stewater. <laughs> so I, I really don't even know what I'm doing. I don't know why I bought this. I just decided to buy it last minute. I really I don't know much going into this book, but like I hear nothing, but like good things I guess about it. So I decided I'm gonna give it a try. And yes, I know I'm start. I'm like wanting to start so many different series. And I haven't even finished that many. But this is a really, like, good copy of it. It's paperback, obviously. But, like, it's a really, like, well, good copy. It's a little bit of, like, crinkling. But it's really good. I'm excited to read it. And the next one. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> Remember I tweeted about this? That I was going to buy Stalking Jack the Ripper? Well, here it is. Oh, my gosh. This is so cool. I really don't remember what this is about. But I bought it, so I'll read it eventually. Our Amazon one that my dad, me and my dad open it. Cause my parents and my aunt are buying stuff off like my wish list and stuff for like Christmas, like books that I want. And so I was making him, making him check it to make sure that it wasn't something that he bought me. So let's find out. <laughs> are you fucking kidding me right now? Did somebody gift this to me? I'm so confused. Oh my god, are you fucking kidding me right now? I'm literally reading Red, White, and Royal Blue on my NetGalley arcs right now. And I'm not liking it that much. Oh no! I'm gonna go find out who sent this to me. Because thank you if you did. I'm so sorry. I just like totally like, negatively reacted to it. It's just more of like a negative reaction towards the book right now. But, oh my god, I need to go figure out who sent this to me. Thank you if you did. <laughs> Hey guys, happy Sunday. So I'm going to be ending off the vlog here, obviously, and I decided that I'm gonna start starting the next vlog on this Sunday, and it'll be in next week's vlog that comes not this Monday, but the following Monday. It'll make sense, you'll see. I just got back from babysitting. I am currently making myself some lunch, some of my leftovers, and I have to go edit this video, which this is going to take so long to edit. This is gonna be such a long vlog because I had such a blast with this vlog, this vlog, with this vlog. I had so much fun. And I also just started buying some people some stuff from their wish list. I posted on Twitter, send me your wish list, and a lot of people that don't follow me did. I feel like it's wrong of me to feel weird about that and to not gift them something, but if you don't follow me and I don't know who you are and you don't know who I am, why would I gift you something? I don't know. Maybe it's just me being stubborn i don't i don't know so i'm only gifting people that i'm like really friends with that i'm close with that i see on booktube a lot and people that make me happy like their videos and stuff like that i'll be gifting them gifts like my favorite books from their wish list and stuff like that or just any book that i know that they really really really, really want so call me an asshole whatever you want but i'm not gonna be spending my money that i work hard on that i don't have much of to send people that i don't even know gifts like i know it's like all about like the holiday season and all that kind of stuff but i feel like that's just an excuse for you to get a book like people are literally just dropping their wish list in my comments and then following me or they're just dropping their wish list and that's it like they're just saying oh yeah thanks for giving me something like i don't really know you i don't know you at all you just found me because of this and then you expect me to send you something i don't know it just kind of feels wrong to me for people to just expect that so and i wouldn't do that to somebody i wouldn't know like i wouldn't go and drop my wish list on somebody's post if i don't know them or we're not friends or whatever it might be 
so it's just kind of like, mm, why would you do that to me? So I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna do that. So I'm sorry if that was a whole rant, me coming off as like an asshole, but I just wanted to explain that because I made a post earlier about it, and people that commented on the wish list post were like, oh, but I thought it was all about like the holiday season, and all that holiday cheer and stuff like that. I'm like, yeah, but you don't even know who I am, and you just followed me just so I would send you a book. Like, it just doesn't sit well with me, so I'm not gonna do that. It makes me uncomfortable. So yeah. Anyway, enough about that. I sent a few of my, my books, some books to people that I'm close with on booktube so they'll be getting it within a few days and I'm so super excited because I love seeing people's reactions to like stuff that I get them. So I'm super excited for them to receive their gifts. And yeah, I'm probably just going to chill the rest of the day and just eat my lunch, play some Sims. I was thinking of starting a new audiobook but I don't really know yet but you guys will see that in my next reading log. So I hope you guys enjoyed. I had a fun time this week and this is vlogmas week one and next week is vlogmas week two which is tomorrow so yeah hope you guys enjoyed if you did give it a big like subscribe down below join the family and i will see you all in my next video bye guys